So with the release in Kaiju Universe of the brand new creatures Goliath and Glacialith, I wanted to do a little comparison of the two. Obviously, Glacialith is frozen behemoth, Goliath being regular behemoth. But that begs the question, ladies and gentlemen, who is better? Goliath, Glacialith? Let me know in the comments and let's get to it. So now, I'm not gonna lie to you, the most recent one that we used was Goliath, and I actually had a ton of fun with it. We were destroying everything. And if we read a little bit about both of them, you can see the differences. It says, an enormous bioluminescent Kaiju found deep within the Amazon rainforest. And then if we go over to Glacialith, you can see that it says, after many thousands of thousands of years, she reemerged due to the rising global temperatures determined to halt the melting of the ice caps. And obviously they differ there, you know, coming from two different places, but how do they differ in the game? Well, as we can see here, Glacialith is a ginormous frozen ice creature who in my opinion looks really cool and pretty dangerous. I mean, you've got the ice spikes poking off of the arm right here. You've got the ginormous spike, you know, the horn coming out of the face. And of course, you've got that blue light kind of shining all over the body. I really do like this model of Glacialith. But then you've got the other creature who, in my opinion, might just look a little bit better. As you can see, we've got Goliath here, and I absolutely love the colors. Obviously, this isn't like a recolor or anything. you got the green slash teal popping out of the skin. Of course, the horn looking amazing as well. Which one do you think looks better? Just from a look standpoint. Goliath or Glacialith? Let me know in the comments. Me personally, I like Goliath a little bit better on the looks, but how do the moves differ? As you can see at the bottom, we've got about three to four-ish moves, three being attack moves, and then that number four move obviously being a heal move. So if we use the moves, you got number one, which is that ginormous horn, Number two, which you jump at him and then hit the horn. And then number three, obviously, is that ginormous punch towards the ground. It's just a, just a big slam for Goliath. And then, of course, we can use number four, but I haven't been hit right now. You can see we got a bunch of health beams popping off of us. It basically just heals you a lot. And as I'm sure you guys know, I would roar, but this is really what happens when I roar. As you can see, I've hit the roar button and... The screen shakes. I'm going to heal a little bit. Where's the health? Okay, it didn't even heal me that time. Could be because I'm max HP. But those are basically all of Goliath's moves. Nothing too crazy, but as you saw in our solo Goliath video, it does a lot of damage. And actually, wait a minute. We can go ahead and test that theory out. Look, he doesn't even want to fight. My boy is running. Where you going, big fella? It is Goliath behind you, man. You know, I just wanted to say hi, you know, introduce myself and also destroy your boy. Okay, yeah, there's no chance we catch this guy. He's just going to run. He doesn't want to fight. And honestly, I don't blame him. Goliath, he's pretty nice. But here's where things get just a little bit more tricky deciding who's the best. As you saw Goliath, he had about three moves that could actually hurt somebody. And as you can see at the bottom here, my girl Glacialith, she has a about four to five moves with the hounding hailstorm being able to i'm pretty sure increase your damage as you can see we just hit that move and there's gonna be like an ice ball forming around me i don't know what it is but it looks cool i don't know if that actually raises our ability to like do more damage or something like that but we've got the number one move which is a ginormous uh, horn swing a little bit more aggressive than goliaths you've got the number two which is the rampage it's a couple hit Bro, it's a couple hits and a slam. I don't know, bro. Glacialith might take this. You've got the number three move, the Glacier Shift. As you can see, we just hit this guy for a, a good amount of damage here. Already have done 800 damage. I hit this guy twice. We're over 800 damage. I haven't checked out the rest of the moves, but if Mothman really wants to do this, he can be the first body of the day. Look at him. He's shaking his head no, but listen, man, we're doing a comparison video. I I've got to destroy everybody that I can destroy. He's trying to talk, but it is no use. Glacialith is taking her first victim of the day. Oh, okay. We got the Mothman family over here. I'm just going to check out the rest of the moves. We've got number four, the Weeper's Silence. But as you can see there, it is a massive slam towards the ground. And you've got all these ice spikes coming out of the ground. Like, that's such a sick move. Now, I don't exactly know how much damage that's doing, but obviously it's probably doing a good amount. Let me go ahead and actually hit this number five move. And let's see. Wait a minute. We got the resistance up too. I totally forgot what that does. But let's see. That number one just did 580. Then 250 twice, which is 500. Look how fast we just dropped this Able Cross off, bro. If I hit him one more time here, there we go. So that was so quick. I don't even know why people are coming over here trying to fight Glacialith right now. It's not going to happen. Boss man, you know, I like you, buddy. I like your moves and whatnot. But the, I'm giving you a 0.0, .0 chance of beating this Glacial. As you can see, Mothman just flew away. He's trying to get his health up. Meanwhile, let's go ahead and terrorize the city. 
We're gonna go ahead and do some battles with Glacialith. Then pop over to Goliath after a little bit, and you all be the judge. Who do you think is gonna be better by the end? Oh, by the way, my boy Mothman said I love your vids. Appreciate you, Mothman. If you guys haven't yet, scroll down for me, for me, Goliath, and Glacialith. Hit that subscribe button, and you know, hit that like button as well. And since we did just get a body with uh, with Glacialith, I feel like it's only right that we switch to Goliath here and see how much damage we can cause to the city of Tokyo. Well, not really to the city, but to the, the Kaijus in Tokyo. Look, this guy's a level 115, right? Oh, wait, he says I was one of the... Okay, he said he's a sub, but listen, we gotta fight, brother. I appreciate you. Okay, here we go. He is throwing hands back at us. So it's all clear. Look at this. We're gonna hit the four move immediately. We're gonna get maximum HP. And while he literally has half HP... See, that's one of Goliath's better uh, moves, I would say. Just the fact that he can get like 2,000 HP off of one button. Meanwhile, Glacialith, I don't think she can do all that. Actually, I know she can't. She's got the number five move that maybe buffs the damage or something like that. But she definitely can't. Oh, hold up now. Speaking of her, we've got Glacialith, even though it's a red form, right in front of us. Let's see who wins. Glacialith versus Goliath in the first battle that they've seen each other in today. And I'm kind of getting jumped by Turkey Rodan over there. But what, what they don't know is I've got this four move. Let me go ahead and heal real quick. Look how much health it just gave me, bro. Over 2,000 HP. Meanwhile, we almost have this Glacialith beat down. And there we go. Glacialith is taking a seat. Now, I will say that Glacialith wasn't at a very high level. So it was kind of inevitable. But listen, man, we had to do what we had to do. And oh, look at this Turkey Rodan, brother. It is not Thanksgiving. Oh, my. Is he picking me up? Okay, no, nah, he's got to take a seat. I remember a while ago, there was a turkey rode in that kept picking me up, and that might have been him. Oh, by the way, look at Mothman. We took Mothman out, too. You see what I'm saying about Goliath? He is just an absolute behemoth of a kaiju. And well, that kind of fits, seeing that uh, he is behemoth. Anyways, we have about 3,000 HP. We've destroyed about three or four kaijus already with Goliath. I mean, what else do you need to see, man? Goliath is a savage. But once again, that begs the question, what can Frozen Behemoth, aka Glacialith, do to a big group of people like that? And let's try to find a Goliath so we can actually have a good little battle here. Oh, you can already see in front of us, Target is acquired. I can see a Goliath already. So we're finally going to have a little battle. And like we saw, we were Goliath last time, and we well, absolutely destroyed Glacialith. Oh, hold up. There's a couple Goliaths over there that I see. Yeah, it's about to go down, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna wait right here till somebody comes towards me. Nah, hold up. There's three Goliaths in play at the moment. Okay, well, I'm probably gonna get jumped here, but let's see. I'm just gonna hit the number five move already just to get possibly a damage boost. Once again, I don't know if that's what this move does. I just know it doesn't heal or anything like that. So let's go ahead and see who wins. Who's the stronger level here? It doesn't look like any of the uh, Goliaths are a very high level, but we're just gonna go in throwing absolute hands here and see if Frozen Behemoth, a.k.a. Glacialith, has what it takes. Okay, we destroyed one person. I don't even know who it was. We destroyed another person. Don't know who that was either, but we did drop off one Goliath. And let's see if we can get, like, two or three. Well, there was only three Goliaths. Let's see if we can get two of the Goliaths dropped. I have nine HP, dude. I'm so dead. Ah, okay, he did get me, but we dropped we dropped off a good amount of people. That's what happens when you got a big group of Goliaths just absolutely throwing haymakers. By the way, <laughs> look at your boy. I don't know how I just landed on Goliath's back like this, but now you can really get a good little size comparison slash, I guess, a color comparison. Which one do you like better, Glacialith, or do you like Goliath a little better? You can see them right next to each other right now. This is the best little comparison we would ever get, and you know what? By the way, it is time to fight. Who is going to leave this circle between the, I don't even know how many people are right here. Between all of us, who is going to leave? I'm going to go ahead and guess it's going to be Glacial. Actually, is this person running from us right now? Hold up. Hey, yo, big fella, where do you think you are going? It is a fight between Glacial and Goliath. And, well, Glacial just absolutely bodied. I can't lie. Now, right, there goes Goliath while he was trying to heal, by the way. That's kind of crazy. And here goes another Goliath while he's trying to heal as well. Bro, we're dropping off everybody in sight at the moment. We're starting to lose some uh, some charge here while we're losing HP at the same time. But can we get the Vargoth down as well? Hold up. We're literally going to get this Vargoth. If we hit one more move, ah, we almost had him, but then we got jumped by Able Cross. And I know we just did this the other day with Goliath, but if you didn't know, Glacialith finally has the recolors fixed. I don't know if you guys knew or not, but Glacialith didn't have any recolors. But now that she does, we're going to see who looks better, Goliath or Glacialith, as the thermal version in the middle of the volcano. 
So obviously first, we've got Goliath here. And I think he looks amazing. You guys let me know what you think about him in the comments. But I think he looks amazing. And at the moment, this is my favorite thermo recolor in the entire game. Let's go ahead and switch to Glacialith. And now, as you can see, with the recolored version of Glacialith, hey, I'm not gonna lie. I don't, I don't know which one I like better, to be honest. Is it Glacialith? Is it Goliath? The Glacialith recolor of Thermo looks absolutely amazing to me. But at the same time, I feel like there's just a little too much of like the yellow coloring. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I like Goliath just a little bit better. But once again, you guys let me know what you think in the comments. Who's better as far as Thermo and the Volcano? Glacialith or Goliath? So from the moves, from the looks, everything, who do you like better? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching, guys. I will see you tomorrow. I love y'all. Goodbye. I got a new fashion. This is a new day. Look at your bow cap.